hunk of iron. Ain't it the beautiful truth? Oh, Mary. Shh. Children in school will applaud me because they like me. I think, I hope. Elocution contest tomorrow at school. She's so anxious to win the prize. Isn't she wonderful? Mm. You know the beautiful truth. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on the great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that Yeah, war. John Jones speaking. Oh, blue alert. All right, right on the job, yeah. Nothing serious, no blackout, just a blue alert. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, Good. we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, no long we never. isn't it? So bright and clear and shiny. Wonderful night for an air raid. I don't think there's going to be any air raid. Not here in our own United States of America. I suppose that some of the people on our side are being bombed somewhere, like England or Russia or China. It's terrible, horrible. I just wanted you to know how much we appreciate not being bombed here in our own country, in our United States. I wonder, I wonder, John Jones, if you do appreciate. Suppose you and your home and your wife and your child, your baby, John Jones, your baby, were a part of one of those other places. In England, for instance, John Jones. In England. Your baby, John Jones. Your baby. In Greece. Your baby, John Jones. Your baby. China. Your baby, your baby, Yugoslavia. Your baby, France, fighting France.
Australasia. Your baby. Czechoslovakia. Yes, I wonder, John Jones, if you realize how lucky you are, you in the United States of America. Do you, for instance, realize that if the conquered peoples of this world were to accept their conquest, were to collaborate with their cruel conquerors, that your side couldn't win this terrible war? Did I say your side? Excuse me, John Jones. I meant our side. This is John Jones. Oh, no red alert? All clear. All right. All clear, Mary. Thanks, God. Oh, Daddy. If you didn't hear all of my recitation, so I'll finish it now, please. The world will little note, no long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, and that from these on a dead, we take increased devotion to that cause, for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion, and that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Ain't it the beautiful truth?